hello beautiful people i'm so excited to have it here without further ado let us dive into the video but before we do that if this is your first time of coming to my channel kindly click on the red subscribe button and the notification bell by the right and give this video a thumbs up so in this video we want to see how to open a gtb account outside nigeria so you are not living in nigeria you're living outside nigeria italy spain us wherever you are uh you can do that and that is exactly what we want to go through uh this is their official website as it's one year please be mindful of fake sites run by fraudulent parties posing as guaranteed trust bank limited or its affiliate do not disclose your personal information and financial details to anyone online or anywhere. It, 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 before one is to be four armed. Okay. So, uh, that's it. So, let us go. It is called the NRN Services. The Non-Resident Nigerian Service provides Nigerians living abroad with a access to a wide range of products and services some of which include savings and current account investment in bonding market instrument and e-banking services this premium service offers nigerians in diaspora the opportunity to open and operate a nigerian bank account from anywhere in the world I've received several questions, several questions on this, so I decided to say, let me create a video for you so as to make it easy. Uh, of course, you may need to watch one other video to be able to complete this process, but start with this video because I wouldn't want it to be too long, so that's why I'm creating another video for it, okay? So we'll start, let's start with this. So let's see the documents, the basic things that you need. You will need the following document to apply for an NRN account. A duly completed NRN account opening form. So you need to fill a form to that. Your recent passport photo with full face forward. Just the normal <laughs> passport with the, <laughs> the full face forward. Then a valid Nigerian regulatory ID or notarized foreign id card with an expired nigerian regulatory id so uh you need a foreign id card probably you already have that then if you still have a nigerian international passport that has expired you also can use you also add that to it that's what it means okay with it then copy of the following as proof of address notarized utility bill or stamped bank account issued within three months showing your foreign address if your notarized foreign id bears the same address as your utility bill then you may not need to notarize your utility bill did you get that if your notarized foreign id bears the same address as your utility bill then you may not need to notarize your utility bill i think we also um have the same uh, privilege here in nigeria so for foreign accounts you need two references from current account holders in any nigerian bank okay or or duly completed self-certification form individual entity or controlling person as applicable as well as your tin in the foreign jurisdiction okay i think you already have that the tin is a tax identification number okay so if you have that you may not need um two references if you are in nigeria you need that but outside nigeria because all we're talking about here is outside nigeria okay so to open an account to open this non-resident nigerian account today um it's very easy so the requisite is to get those document mentioned above okay you open a non-resident nigerian account let's click that to see all of these are clickable i'm going to make sure that i leave the link to this particular uh 
website or you can just go to google you once you type in dt bank non-resident nigerian account okay open a dt bank non-resident nigerian account you should be able to locate this website and as it's want make sure that you get the right website so i'm clicking on this particular link right there so you come to the right done open an open an nrn account from anywhere in the world and get your account number instantly so you click on the open account now so once that is done what would you like to do of course want to open a new account all right then if it is additional account you want to open because some may have just a naira account but they want to open domiciliary account should we go through that to see what is there okay let's go through no no let's skip to new account and then we'll come to that later because that may derail us and take more time all right bvn validation yes bvn the bvn aspect is what may lead us into another video so that is why i was saying at the beginning that we may need to watch another video okay so who is this account for let's choose self my kid or what we're choosing self okay so each time you click you get the fresh up freshing up of the website which type of account do you want to open select current domiciliary gt create saver savings uh let's say we want to open savings uh, savings won't be really uh good for somebody that is an app that's that's living abroad current should be a but for savings it's going to not require much um documents but more or less whatever document is going to require is better to start with current because with current you can open to a salary account that will go in line with the currency of the country where you are right now so let's choose current account all right so choosing current account bvn please input zero if you do not have bvn at this moment so there's no bvn at this moment then we'll click on validate let's see we are unable to retrieve bvn details at this moment kindly enter details below to proceed for sks account this detail below should be smart kids son name first name or middle name let me see what's of course we have no bvn i'm so sorry gt bank I, this is just for the sake of video okay so gd will show just just a name i'm just formulating this is vadi vadi kayo okay just choose a name these are just random names let's see this is henry and for date of birth let me choose 1950 march 1st then country code Let's say uh, we're in Argentina. The mobile number. I just have to choose a mobile number. Uh, all right. I'm so sorry about this. I just just for the sake of video for video sake, <laughs> honestly, just for the sake of video. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, show at yahoo.com it's optional i mean i even leave it let me just leave the email out it's optional then click on continue okay you can just follow on the process like that all right so i've clicked on continue here tie to asking for bio data i think i may not even need to continue just continue keep going uh, but i want to get to the i want to get to the bvn so that when it gets to the bvn 
I can now show you in another video. But it's just the process. Keep filling the form. Keep filling the form. Okay. Keep filling the form on your own. You know, all of the form, all of the details there will be accurate according to to what you have so just the normal questions that has been asked in nigeria the trusty local governments you know <laughs> those stuff those nigerian stuff first child let's say you do not have a child yet okay if you have children you add it we can continue so we're seeing the kind of questions we will ask processing my data um placing my data to establish an account placing my financial transaction personalizing so you need to agree to all of this i click to agree okay this is no harm this is just what they seek so you fill in every other form like that like that okay permit valid foreign residential fill all of this on your own okay so when you get to the aspect of the bvn i'm going to show you um exactly how to go about it. i think that will be in another video so you can see complete your account opening you will need the following information or document your bvn then your self-certification form you need to click this because you're opening a current account and opening a current account you either have two references in Nigeria from any bank or probably from GT Bank or you download this form to fill it. So once you are in the right um, this particular website, you always see this so you can click this to download to fill reference form for current domiciliary. So click here, just follow the instructions and um, you go through then for your bvn i'm going to create another video for that which you will see uh, probably the link should be there the link is not there right now i'm going to create a video and make sure that the links get there right at the top somewhere around there or somewhere in the video or even in the description you can check the description there's some information updates information that i'll be leaving in the description so you can also check that i think the video is already getting too long so let me stop it because i'm going to create another video for the bvn how you can get your bvn outside nigeria you get to see how easy you can do that forever you are in the world thank you for watching and please do give this video a thumbs up bye for now